Now let's try an island profile. For instance, let's take a tool, follow the outside edge of this island that we want to keep here, and then do another profile and offset it out and try to take out that second one. You could do a roughing operation on this, but I think a profile would be much more efficient, so let's try it. PRZ is correct, so we'll just do the feature finder. We'll choose select everything. Make sure the make sure the post processor is correct and make sure CPL is top. And now we're in manufacturing mode. So let's just go to our features and let's choose that open mill and do a profile on it. We don't want to select any boundaries. The profile is just following the line. So for tooling, let's go to our tool and choose a half inch end mill. We'll try to take as much of it as we can. And if you notice, it makes one pass around the outside. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, there we go. Now that we have a little problem because we have all this material left on the outside edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another profile. So that means we have to do two profiles and we're just going to offset it in the XY so that it takes out the rest of this material. Let's try it. So all we have to do, again, is choose that open mill, do another profile operation, no boundaries. And this time we're going to do an XY offset of 0.4. 0.4 because we used a half inch end mill, 0.4 will make sure that it overlaps. We'll go to tooling and let's choose use current tool. By choosing use current tool, it won't do a tool change between the two operations when we go to post the code. Say OK and you can see it does a second one also. If for instance you wanted to change the depth of cut, mine does it in only four passes. If yours is set up to machine steel, Years probably looks a little bit different. It probably looks more like this because depth cut increment is usually default 0.05. So it'll look like that. It'll take forever to machine. Since this isn't steel, what we're going to do is we're just going to change that value for cut increment to 0.25. And say OK. It'll do it in four passes. Let's just verify it, make sure that it's going to work. And there we go.